Hi there, welcome to QA Box. Let's test. In this video, we are going to set up the code intelligence for A for Cypress built in and custom commands, B for Cypress.json configuration file. So let us open this aliasing.spec.js, which is inside Cypress integration example folder. And if I hover over this widget, you see this pop up. And in this pop up, you see the command definition. Then you have the link to the documentation and you also see some examples all right so let me just put two more forward slashes in front of this line and now if i hover over this you see that intelligence is gone i want you to cover this topic before we write our first test cases in cypress so kindly ignore uh, these context and it blocks for now and i'll explain these in a future video I want you to focus here on just the intelligence part. So we access Cypress commands using the global CY or Cy object. So since CY is an object, I can access its methods using dot notations. So I've typed CY dot and there is no intelligence yet, which we saw before. So I still have to write the code without any support. Well, we saw the intelligence before and that was coming from type script type declaration which is included in the Cypress package. VS Code, the code editor that we are using for this series, can use these type declarations to show intelligence inside spec files. So what are these declaration files. Basically, declaration files describe the built in objects. A declaration file provides a way to declare the existence of some types or values without actually providing implementation for those values. Let us see one of the files. So, I open node modules and inside that, let's open this Cypress folder. Then this types and we have these files which have got this dot d dot ds at the end. Let us open this cypress dot d dot ds. These dot d dot ds files are declaration files that contain the type information and they are used for type checking and auto completing while typing commands. This is a very really important file because this file gives all the intelligence to us while writing the code. Let us look at the click command. So we are seeing this in here. Okay. This thing. So I'm going to just copy this from here and go to my areas. And let me just uncomment these two lines once again. And if I just paste this line and hover over this, what you are seeing in here is exactly the same what you see here. So how to add this intelligence? So there are essentially uh, two ways. One is by using this triple slash directive. So just add a triple slash directive to the head of your JavaScript or TypeScript testing file. This will turn the intelligence on a per file basis. The disadvantage of this approach is that you have to paste this line in every spec file. Too hard for me at least. I'll show you. So if I click on the other files here also, you see this. And then this as well. Okay. So the second approach is create a JS config file in the root of the project. VS Code understands this file. So let us create a JS config file. The root of our project. And you have to enter this. Let's save this file. Now let us head back to this file and cut this from here. Okay. So earlier we saw that when this line was, wasn't there, we were not getting intelligence. Now you see it says it's it's loading because it is still being initialized so we have to wait till this thing is finally initialized so we 
see that intelligence pop up. The intelligent code completion should now show help for CY commands inside regular JavaScript spec files. So you can say CY dot and you see all these things are being displayed here. If you are working on TypeScript, then open the Cypress documentation and for using the TS config file for TypeScript, you have to add this. So adding a TS config file inside your Cypress folder with the following configuration should get intelligent code completion working for you. We are working on JavaScript and hence we used JS config. So what is jsconfig.json which we just created. jsconfig.json is a descendant of tsconfig.json which is the configuration file for TypeScript. Visual Studio Code's JavaScript support can run in two different modes. File scope with no JSON config. In this mode, JavaScript files opened in VS Code are treated as independent units. As long as a file does not reference another file explicitly, either using import or common JS module, there is no common project context between the two files. The other mode is explicit project with JS config.json. A JavaScript project is defined via JS config.json file. The file itself can optionally list the files belonging to the project, the files to be excluded from the project, as well as the compiler options. The JavaScript experience is improved when you have a JS config.json file in your workspace that defines the project context. And this includes property. With the help of this, you can explicitly sell, set the files in your project using the include attribute, which can follow a glob pattern which you are seeing in here. So now, how to enable the intelligence for custom scripts? We have not created the custom script so far. Just focus on enabling the intelligence and I'll cover the custom scripts in a future video. I mentioned in the previous video that we keep our custom commands in Cypress support command.js file. So let us open that. So we have some sample code in here. I just uncommented the first one, which is login, and added this console.log statement. So if I open the action.spec file and say cy.login I do not have access to this currently so I have got to do two things number one I have to create the type declaration file so let's create a type declaration file for custom command inside cypress support folder with the name index.d.ts so I've already created that what you have to do is you have to create this namespace because this is what we saw in uh, case of Cypress as well. So if you open this, the namespace here is Cypress and then there are different interfaces. So which one we have to pick? Since we are working on the custom commands, so we have to create the interface of type chainable and subject is equal to any. And this is the documentation which you will see in the intelligence pop-up and this is the command. So this becomes the definition and this is the documentation page. I mean, of course, uh, this is our custom command. So if you have created any website where you have posted this, then you can do this. Otherwise, just uh, don't mention that. And then you can provide the example as well. So once this file is created here, right, you have to use that file in the syntax of triple slash directive so we go in here and the way you are going to refer that is like this so you're going to say references types is equal to then you're going to provide the path and now if you say cy dot login now you see you have this intelligence available for this now what is the other way now the other way is you just use the js config file in here you just make one more entry and here and you say now save this 
let me open another file wherein we don't have this triple slash directive and if i say cy dot login so you see we have access to this now and now i don't need to use this in every file i want to use this command so my recommended way is go by creating this jsconfig.json file if you're working on javascript and if you're working on typescript then go for the jsconfig thing okay one last thing so now if we open cypress.json and if i come in here if i just do this right uh, two double quotes then i'm not seeing any suggestions at this moment so what do i have to do so let us open the documentation of cypress for this and we have to scroll to the bottom and let us paste this schema information in that file first let's paste that let us save it now if i do two double quotes i get this or if i just say control space then i also get this so these are the different configurations that we can control and these configuration would be then applied at the project level because we are setting these configuration in the cypress.json that is one way of doing it okay now let us see what is the other way so what you have to do is if you just uh, open the, the settings click on the settings and click on this extensions uh, open this json and click on this edit.json okay now here you have to make a little change so let us just copy this whole thing this array and let me just replace this blank array with that information okay let us save this and to close this close it again and now if i just remove these let me save this file once here and if i just do this so now i don't even need to mention that schema information in my cypress.json the advantage of this approach is that if you create any project on this local machine going forward you don't need to add that schema that saves some time for you so if you're working in a team what usually you do is you share all these things right and your peers are going to replicate that so if there's an entry in here right explicit entry in here then your peers don't need to do anything and in this particular case when you are making the change in the settings.json file of your vs code your peers have to either apply the same settings in their local vs code or they have to add the key which is schema and then they can see this intelligence i hope you like this video thank you so much